What's up guys, it's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training and I've got an important message about failure for you today. So whether you're a pitcher and you just gave up a walk-off home run or whether you're a hitter and you just struck out with the bases loaded or maybe you're in school and you do poorly on a test or maybe you tried out for a team and unfortunately you got cut, you didn't make that team. Look, nobody likes failure and none of us want to fail. But that being said, there's a couple things you need to understand about failure that I think are really, really important. So that's what I want to cover with you today. Three things, okay? The first thing is failure is an event, not a person. That's from the legendary Zig Ziglar, okay? Failure is an event. Failure is something that happens, but failure does not define who you are as a ball player or define who you are as a person. So you need to stop taking failure so personally and get, you know, too many players get so down when they fail on the field and I got news for you baseball is a game that's littered with failure okay so you better get used to it or you better not play the game of baseball because there's a lot of failure in this game of baseball but think about I want you to think about you know look through the stats of all the games that were played yesterday look at your favorite players how many of them had a strikeout yesterday or how many of them went 0 for 4 how many pitchers walked a hitter or gave up uh, a walk-off base hitter or gave up a home run last night? How many of your favorite, your favorite teams lost yesterday? And what you'll understand when you look at that is the best players on the planet, they fail constantly. They fail all the time. And so you're going to fail in this game of baseball. And that doesn't make you a failure. That just means you failed. Michael Jordan, is he a failure because he got cut from his high school basketball team his sophomore year because they thought he was too small? Is he a failure? No, he wasn't a failure. He just failed in that moment. He failed to make the team. But he's definitely not a failure as a person, and he's certainly not a failure as a basketball player, right? He just failed in that moment. So there's a lot of failure in baseball, a lot of failure in life, so you better get used to it. So that's the first thing. Don't take failure so personally. Failure is an event. It's something that happens. It's not who you are as a person. Okay, next thing about failure. Thing number two, failure gives you an opportunity to learn and get better. It gives you an opportunity. Notice I didn't say failure makes you better because it doesn't, okay? Failure gives you an opportunity to learn and improve and it gives you a choice, okay? And really you've got three choices, all right? Number one, what do bad players do? Bad players, players who never live up to their full potential, they never learn from their mistakes. Okay, bad players don't learn from their mistakes, so they never improve. They just continue to make the same mistake over and over and over again. They swing at a, a curb on the dirt. They never learn what that pitch looks like. They never make any improvements. They never learn from their mistakes. That's bad players, okay? Your average players, players that are pretty good, players that make steady progress, they learn from their mistakes, okay? So they might swing at that, that curb on the dirt. They might fail this time, but then they might learn from that and improve their skills moving forward and not make the same mistake twice or not make it very many, very many times, okay? So uh, good players, average players, they learn from their mistakes. What makes the best players different? What the greatest players on the planet do, the greatest players not only learn from their own mistakes, but they learn from their mistakes of others, all right? So think about Mike Trout. Mike Trout, he's failed a lot in his lifetime. He's failed a lot in his career. But one of the things that makes Mike Trout so great is he's number one, he's definitely learned from his failures on the field and his mistakes. Number two though, he's watched everybody else and he's learned, he's been a student of the game and he's learned a lot through other people. And so he's, he's learned through them and he's avoiding those mistakes. And it's, it's, it's him basically being able to fail at a faster rate and that helps him improve as a player and progress quicker, which is why he's so great today. And another thing about Mike Trout, might not look like he fails a ton on TV, but guess what? I guarantee if we put both of our failures together, we combined them, we still wouldn't even come close to the amount that Mike Trout has failed in his career. He's failed over and over and over and over and over again. He's learned from his failure. He's learned from other people's failure. And as Winston Churchill once said, you know, success is going from failure to failure without the loss of enthusiasm. He's done that too, okay? So that's the second thing about failure. It gives you an opportunity to learn and an opportunity to get better. Last thing I want you to know about failure. Failure gives life contrast. So failure is a good thing. Obviously nobody wants to fail like I mentioned earlier in the video, but failure is a good thing. It gives life contrast. Think about how boring life would be if every single day was a great day. Right? The reason why you say, oh, I had a great day today was because you've probably experienced some pretty poor days in the past. 
And so that contrast, that balance, that, that back and forth, that's what has made today great. But think about how boring baseball would be if every time you walked up to the plate, it was a home run. How fun would that be? I mean, it sounds fun for, it'd be fun for a couple days, right? But how fun realistically would that be? Or if your life every day was just awesome and you never experienced any challenges or anything like that, would you really feel like it was a great life? Would you really feel that you're fulfilled? Of course not, Ro. We, uh, of course not. We need, uh, we need the struggle. We need to face adversity. We need challenges. We need to overcome them. We need to grow. That's what life's all about, okay? So long story short, don't fear failure. Embrace it. You got to embrace it. And Babe Ruth said it best, never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. So don't fear failure, embrace failure. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, please leave it a like. I'd really appreciate that. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you never miss any of our upcoming baseball videos. And every single baseball player out there, I got a great video that I think every player should watch. It's called 10 Ways to Stand Out as a Baseball Player. You can click right here and go watch that video right now. I really think it's going to help you out. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Go ahead, go. Go ahead, go.